Henry Matisse was my inspiration. And for two reasons. His most powerful work, in my opinion, were the late in life paper cuts, the cut paper shapes, in which he took away the third dimension and made paper and color into sculptural shapes. For years, I was studying what he did, read everything that he ever put down paper, and was a literally a devotee of the cut paper. But I also had the problem that Henry Matisse was a, a giant in the field of art. And to eventually escape from under his shadow was a long process. I finally feel that I have achieved that by moving into directions of uh, light and space that uh, he did not address. He addressed color and form and so by taking scissors and other sharp implements and cutting colored paper, I began to create a world of um, light and it was focused only on three things, earth, sea, and sky, and the effects of light at various times in the day and night. Moonlight on wet rocks, captured in, wet, in, in cut paper. Well, the piece I'm showing you here today, I'm, I'm still working on it. I got a, a little bit of something to put on it. But it's a, uh, an attempt to do one of the four seasons. I've done summer, I uh, know, I've done uh, spring, fall, and winter. And I'm, I'm trying to find summer. Summer is the most elusive time of year as far as not being dramatically one thing or another. So this is a uh, creek and a uh, field of flowers and a couple of trees and I'm, what I was really going for was the long hot days of summer. And all of these pieces are just cut with a, with a pair, pair of scissors and you can almost see some of Matisse's uh, strokes so to speak. In, and what I'm doing, I'm thinking about Matisse sitting next to me. A channel Matisse, you might say. But I've, I feel that I have moved beyond what his uh, interests were and have found my own area of uh, illumination. That's what I call these pieces. They're not paintings. There's no paint on them. And they are sculptural because I, I, for, I cut and formed the pieces. But they're not sculpture that most people would recognize. So I just refer to them as illuminations, studies of light.